Next question is from Mrs. Liades, L A I D E S. Is Mrs. Liades in the gallery? Okay, uh, the question is my question for the agenda, reference to item 11.6, notice of motion, Councillor Maybrick, Committee to Explore Constitutional Recognition of Local Government. Could you please clarify the necessity to make a formal submission to the committee to explore constitutional recognition of local government and the necessity to resolve the uncertainty surrounding the Commonwealth ability to continue to provide direct funding to local councils? This clarification can be made by answering the following questions. Question one, can you state what the proper purpose of a referendum is? A, is it a tool used by government to seek clarification from the people? Or is it a tool for government to seek con consent from the people? A referendum is a process by which uh, the constitution can be amended. In order for the constitution to be amended, it has to be approved by a majority of the people from a majority of the states. So it's a double majority requirement. That's what it is, uh, and it's also it's a tool of the federal government. Um, question two, if you answered A to question one, um, well, I didn't answer A or B um, because the question can't be answered simply in the name of B. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Manny. Hi Manny, how are you? Good. Um, we're just going to ask you a quick question. And the question is, can you state what the proper purpose of a referendum is? Is it A, a tool used by government to seek clarification from the people? Or is it B, a tool used by government to seek consent from the people? B. B, fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I think it is um, consent because um, the government is obviously wanting to find out what the people's views are and until they find that out, I don't believe they go forward with the decision. Fantastic. Thank you for your time. No worries. So, what was your name? Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? And who do we have here? Marley. Who? Marley. Hi, Marley. <laughs> and how old is Marley? Five weeks old. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, really? I think, isn't it just when they get everybody to vote on whatever issue it is, like when they did it for the um, Commonwealth or the Queen and all that stuff, it's just the public opinion, isn't it? Like. Okay, so a yes or no answer? Yeah. Is that... More or less, it should be. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Chris. No worries. Bye, Marley. Um, consent, I think. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> it's all right. Could be either, I think. <laughs> so which one do you think it, it might be? You can give us some other answer. One. It could be either of those things. It really could be. In what way? They may be wishing to introduce something and they want to get the agreement of all the people, so they all manipulate the referendum so that they will respond in a way that which they can treat as consent. Okay, ask. Okay, what's your name? Dave. Hi, Dave, how are you? I'm well, thank that's, you. That's great. Consent. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, that was easy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say what I think. Oh, no. Of course you can. <laughs> um, we have a government with no idea. We have a government that is run by minorities. Um, we have a country that is falling apart. They have no answers. Neither party has the answers. We are putting it mildly in deep shit. People at the helm don't give a shit. And is that how it feels to you? Yes. We're, we're, we're being told by security that we have to go. And they look so fearsome. <laughs> they, they do. Really um, why does council seek clarification from an issue, for an issue that it continually claims is an unquestionable right to opponents of local government rates and charges. 
Surely the confidence of this right is guaranteed, is it not? You are either sure of this right or you are not. Uh, we are quite certain of that right. Uh, the rates and charges that Council impose are imposed under the power granted to Council by the State of Victoria <coughs> under the Victorian Constitution. Local government is recognised as in the Victorian Constitution. Constitution to be amended, it has to be approved by a majority of the people from a majority of the states. So it's a double majority requirement, that's what it is. Rates and charges that Council impose are imposed under the power granted to Council by the State of Victoria <coughs> under the Victorian Constitution. Local government is recognised as in the Victorian Constitution. Commissioner wrote to the New South Wales <laughs> Parliament and stated that 
only the federal government can create, can collect taxes. Yes. And the local right. governments are illegal, and right. only that, but they're not allowed to create to take rates because they are a tax on the home. It's and here you right. are telling us that it's fine when the tax taxing commission has already spoken. There's been a system of local government in Victoria for in excess of 150 years. Uh, I am exceptionally confident, whilst I am not an expert in constitutional law, I am exceptionally confident that local government is constitutional and the rates and charges it imposes are legally imposed under the law of the state of Victoria. The next question is from. Yep. Okay. The question is Council had reported within the last budget and recently in other publications that they received large amounts of funding from the Federal Australian Government for the library and also for the Western Base. In Councillor Maverick's comments, she states that the purpose of amending the Constitution would be to resolve the uncertainty surrounding the Commonwealth's ability to continue to provide direct funding and that the only way to ensure the continuation of general direct funding is through change to the Constitution by way of a referendum. Does this mean that the Melting Council has been receiving this money unlawfully up to now? No, it doesn't mean that. What it does mean is that there have been a couple of challenges to the federal government's capacity, and challenges by the High Court, to the federal government's capacity to directly fund in areas. These were not specifically related to local government. However, by virtue of the judgment, <coughs> the reading of the judgment indicates that there may well be some doubt as to whether the federal government 
can continue or can directly fund local government or whether it's required to fund local government by a state. The purpose of local government and lobbying the federal government to incorporate a recognition of local government into the federal constitution is in large part to remove any doubt and make it quite categorically clear. Council has been granted those funds in accordance with the powers of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth determine the powers they exercise. Until there's a constitutional challenge to the powers of the Commonwealth to do so, they will continue, I presume, to direct fund local government. However, whilst the spectre of a possible challenge remains, uh, Council believes, or the Council's position up to date has been that it is proactive to seek to have the Constitution amended for the recognition of local government. However, the loss of a referendum, as in 1988, to question, to recognise local government in the federal constitution, a, a no vote to a positive question does not imply a yes vote to the negative question. The question was not, do you want the local government disbanded, done away with, etc. That was not the question. The question was, do you believe local government should be recognised in the federal constitution? Could be either, I think. <laughs> so which one do you think it, it might be? You can give us some other answer. Yeah, it could be either of those things. It really could be. In what way? They may be wishing to introduce something and they want to get the agreement of all the people, so they all manipulate the referendum so that they will respond in a way that which they can treat as consent. Oh! of the city of Melton, 
who will head this committee? Is the committee operational already or is it yet to be formed? Uh, the committee is a committee of the federal government. It's a parliamentary committee. Um, so I doubt very much that there will be residents of the city of Melbourne uh, on that committee. Uh, it will be headed by, I presume, a member of parliament or a person appointed by the parliament. Uh, and the committee, as I understand it, is in the process of being set up. As I said, the, the committee, the committee on constitutional referendum or constitutional recognition of local government, is a, a committee of the federal government. The MAV are doing work around an advocacy program, and they will have an advisory committee that deals with them on their advocacy program. That is not actually that committee being constant, being formed by the federal government to advise on the constitutional recognition question. So the answer to that question is no, no local people involved. Sorry, ma'am. Um, the question should be directed to the federal government, whose committee it is. It's not the council's jurisdiction to determine who's on the committee. Craving for some Mickey. Some Mickey. Some Mickey. I got a craving for some Mickey. Directed to the federal government whose committee it is. It's not the council's jurisdiction. So perhaps you should approach your local... The council is doing a submission, though, isn't it? Aren't they? 
will be putting a motion is that we will be putting a submission as did the last council resolve that we will, that this council say with this council is resolving that local council should be recognised in the local. That, we, that this council say with this council is resolving that local council should be recognised in the local. Can I please have order, Mr. Well, Josh, this is a democracy, don't you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. There, there, there will be silence in the, in the chamber. It, it will be respectful in the chamber. Sorry, sir. I, I do apologise, but that is the that is the law. Again, to remain silent. The gentleman asked a direct question. Will local this is not a forum for questions, madam. We are democracy. asking questions here from the public. The, the, the local law states that the gallery shall remain silent. If you don't like that, I'll kindly ask you to leave. Oh, clarification, madam. That's right. You said this is not a forum for questions. Can you organise Mr. this? Mr. I'm sorry, sir. Can, can, I, can, I I can, I can, can I please have order? I seek clarification to the question. Sir, you have you ask. put in a you, question? Yes, in I have. Your, I yes, have. you have. So your turn will come up. I seek Sorry, your turn your your will come up. I seek clarification to your answer two seconds ago. You said this is this not a forum is a for question. Form, this is a, the what? chamber. Can you I will organize, ask for can your you, silence. As I'm there, can you as a mayor organise a forum for, for questions silence. about this case? Yes or no? You either have the opportunity to be with us. You might have the opportunity to be with us. You might have the opportunity to be with us. You might have the opportunity to be with us. You might have the opportunity to be with us. You might have the opportunity to be with us. Councillors, I ask, that this, I will ask that this chamber no, 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 be resolved. I've, I've put a motion up to adjourn the meeting for the five minutes. We don't accept the motion, Sophie. Thank you. you. Councillors, I'll direct you to the chamber. You might have stated you not remove mayor, yourself, sir. You know, I will call the police and I will call the what? security and remove you. I'm seeking clarification. You know, you have no control over the people. Okay? 
When you find out that you've got no legal standing in that chair, Mr. Corey. Sorry? You've got no legal standing in that chair. Alright? And that smoke you've got in your face will be wiped off. The Taxation Commissioner wrote to the New South Wales Parliament and stated that only the federal government can create can collect taxes. Yes. And the local governments are illegal and not only that, but they're not allowed to create take rates because they are a tax on the home. It's and here cool. you are telling us that it's fine when the Tax Changing Commission has already spoken. So remember that, people. <laughs> they have you been here. Oh, we lost them. Oh, oh, no. no. I'm just telling you, I've got paying rates. It's Just give us the answer. Go on to the United States. Securities Exchange Commission and type in the name and you will see there is a registered business. Oh, you got no legal standing, Mr. Tory, at all. Get together and do them all the money. That's right. As a matter of fact, Mr. Tory, these chambers are for the people, not for you to sit there. It's not for you to sit there and judge all these people. Yeah, these chambers are for the people. Hey, you! So don't you think you should go back to your city people and find out if they want to go through this? Yeah. I think that this oh, is a good question. Can I please have order, Mr. Well, oh, Josh, this is a democracy. Don't oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, sir. There, there, there will be silence in the, in the chamber. It, it will be respectful in the chamber. Sorry, sir. I, I do apologise, but that is the that is the law. I got a craving for some Mickey. Some Mickey. Some Mickey. I got a craving for some Mickey. Some Mickey. Some Mickey. I got a craving for some Mickey. Some Mickey. Some Mickey.
Actually, let's call the cops and put them in jail. Oh, let's call the cops. Yes, we should. We should. We should. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. We're fine. Council in direct rebate and uh, plus administrative costs. Um, and this review is the first review for a number of years, so it's been done in a fairly detailed manner. And the survey. Oh, sorry, can I just stop you there? The lady that's recording at the moment, subject to clauses 30CI and II. Person must not operate recording equipment at any special at any council or special committee meeting without the prior written consent of council. Such consent may be given only after receipt of a written application and may at any time during the course of such meeting be revoked by council or the special committee, as the case may be. Uh, the Recording Devices Act entitles me to. Subject to clauses 30C, it is not in our local laws. I will ask you to remove your camera. I will ask you to remove your camera. I'm sorry, I won't be doing that. I'm entitled to record. Subject to clauses 30C, I and II, a person must not operate recording equipment and in any council or special committee meeting without prior written consent. But if the council. Is that mandatory by law? That is the meeting procedure local law number 2, 2000. council law, not real law. Please refrain from talking. But the Adam, yeah, the I'm asking you kindly, please remove the camera, or I'll ask you to remove yourself. But I'm entitled to if it's to be used uh, for court future Adam, or current I'd, court I'd like cases. To give you a second warning. Please remove the camera or remove yourself. By what authority are you asking her to do that? Madam, I'm asking you for the third time, please remove this, remove your camera. Can you remove It's not. You your cameras from the this isn't a forum of debate, Madam. Please, I'd ask you to remove your camera. I understand that, but in. Which authority are you asking? Councillors, I ask you to adjourn. Can you create a forum for debate? Thank you. Can you give us the answers? Can you create a forum for debate? If you don't want to talk we about it. We are waiting for the answers. Sarah, Dave, can you create a forum for debate? We are waiting for the answers. Sarah, Dave. Remember, you work for us, not the other way around. You should not be elected. That's right. How could you be elected by, by the, your friends here, not by us? You pack up on the work for the council. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. They all scared. They all scared. Where are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. The techniques to ask Am I doing the question. something wrong?
officer. Yeah, I'll explain. If you want me to explain in front of these people, you're happy for me yeah, to do this. Yeah, they've been, they've, they've shown me the, um, the council laws there. You're not allowed to use a recording device. They come no recording. What is it a Sorry? policy? No, 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 no. What are they recording? They come leg with cameras around. They've got video cameras for safety reasons. That's for safety reasons. No. That's what they've yeah. said to you yeah. as a council policy. Yeah. So if you're going to ask her to remove it, yeah. do you have any law as a police officer written anywhere? Do I have any law in what? Well, to show us if it's true. Yeah, they've got the, the act written out there. Can you oh, see, I can go Haven't they shown you that? No. Um, Nothing. Can okay, well, no. I'd like to show this lady. Even though she's the one with this lady is with us. Yeah, but she's the one with the camera. Doesn't matter. Right, I'm with the camera. Now, now, if she continues to use the camera, then I'll All remove right. her from the premises. I'm with the camera now. No, you can't. Yes, I can, mate. I've read the act. I want to have a look at it. That's an act. Can you show us the act? An act. I'm happy to show her well, the show act, us. but she doesn't want to come in. Show us the act. I've got the camera now. Show us the act. No, no, she doesn't have to go nowhere. I've got the camera. I'll come. Oh, you come with me. Come, mate. Let's go. You're going to take the camera? We'll it's take still them. recording.
I am exceptionally confident, whilst I am not an expert in constitutional law, I am exceptionally confident that local government is constitutional and the rates and charges it imposes are legally imposed under the law of the state of Victoria.